Hello everybody. In the afternoon, just wanting to do a quick, <laughs> quick pull. Are they ever quick? Are they ever fast? No. Anyway, um, th there's so much going on with, with 45. And so, um, Southern District of New York, uh, attorney Berman um, got fired and Barr said Trump made me do it Trump goes no it's Barr and I go oh something's up what's up I mean there's always something so I want to look into that a little bit Berman and just a little bit because I I got a I got I just had a bad feeling when I looked at it, so I'm going, okay, what cases is he looking at? <laughs> well, it'd be easier to say what he's not looking at in accordance, I mean, around Trump. Okay, it's Giuliani, uh, Cohen, the National Enquirer, um, Epstein. Ugh. And I just watched that Netflix Epstein thing, and I... I I didn't really want to. I thought it would give me nightmares. And I didn't sleep well for a couple of nights. It wasn't as bad as I thought. It was more of a crime thing. It didn't really get into the abuse as much. But it... <laughs> oh. Oh, my God. It was still really, really hard to watch. Um... And, you know, once again, Trump goes, oh, yeah, well, uh, uh, I knew, him. I, I didn't really know him. I mean, he says that about everybody. I, I didn't really know him that well. Although he stayed at my hotel and there's numerous pictures of me with him. And Clinton's going, oh, yeah, no, I, I never went there. There's, he's been to that stupid island. Well, it's not a stupid island. The island looks pretty cool. Um, anyway, what is Berman? What is Berman? Is this going to, Berman and Trump, is this, let me just, what, what's going on with Berman and Trump? What was, why did, why did he get fired? Why did Trump say, you got to go now? Was it, it wasn't the Cohen case, because he doesn't care about that. Um, National Enquirer, Cohen, maybe. Okay. Giuliani, eh, maybe. Epstein. Why did Trump fire this guy? Trump's cards are never, ever, ever, ever good. Seven of coins. Okay, so we have death. It's not a real death, except tell that to Jeffrey Epstein. <clears throat> um, it's moving on. Tell that to Jeffrey Epstein, which is... I would love to read on him. Is he still alive? Is he dead? Is, you know, did they move him? I don't like to get into that energy, so I'm not even going to go there. This is kind of weird enough for me. Um, so look at all those cases he was working on. Berman. At the base of it. Loss, five of cups. It passed as it relates. Moving on. So interesting. You have moving on, moving on. <laughs> you have loss. Top of the reading. It's a good card, isn't it? The hermit. 
Why did Trump fire Berman? Knight of Coins. Okay, let me just shift these over in. Oh, I just see the loneliness. Trump feeling more and more isolated. He sees the ending. He sees the ending here, um, and he's trying to come up with a new, <clears throat> a new direction. Because this was the Southern District of New York with all their cases. Trump wants to put a new light on it. He wants to come up. Let's let's do something different. Let's try a new course. Oh yeah, that's going to work out real well. Five of Swords battling, winning at any cost. External influences. Ten of Wands. It's kind of hot to hold all those, isn't it? Hopes and fears. The star, well, okay. He hopes that by firing Berman coming up with, with a new plan that he's going to be saved, pulled out of the water. And the outcome, possible, Knight of Cups. Let's keep going on that. Because if I look at this Knight of Club, Cups, in this deck particularly, he's very lonely. It's like the Hermit. It's like the Five of Cups. Just all by himself. Um, with the knowledge that he has, and he's kind of keeping it on his, kind of keeping it there. On the top of his head, he's not letting it out. Looking over his shoulder. And Eight of Coins. Building on something. Let's look at the back of the deck. Walking away. We do get that a lot, don't we, with Trump. Nine of Wands. Battling, trying to get to the top. Page of Swords. Swords. That's more of a impetuous truth. And the Nine of Coins. There is some woman that's going to be bringing out some truth. Who's the, um, who did they get to replace him? I'm going to pause this and look on the internet because I think it's a woman. Hang on. Audrey Strauss. <laughs> Audrey Strauss. Okay, now, um, Trump and Berman. So, why did he do this? Because um, he's feeling extremely isolated. Um, he's seeing... He's seeing that one of these cases is going to bring him down. He's got to move on. Um, so, that's it. So, let me... He had to get rid of him. It's getting too close. So, what was he getting too close to? What was he getting too close to? Uh -huh. Okay, what case was it? Was Berman, Berman getting too close to Trump? with the Cohen Inquirer case. Certainly, it could be Six of Wands. Moving on to Calmer Waters. 
the Five of Wands kind of battling, but not a win at any cost, but just battling back and forth. And then you have the Queen of Wands. Cohen case. Let's move on to... Um, he was also working on the inaugural um, committee, the case, you know, where the money came from, our money spent. So he was getting somewhere with that. He was seeing that um, he had the lover's card, which is a contract between two people. Um, a lot of times this is Russia. The Wheel of Fortune, it's karmic. In the Hierophant, the government. Um, what else was he working on? Douche Bank, Deutsche Bank, all the money. That might have been it. Still have the Chariot and the Death card. You got a lot of the King of Wands. Um, a lot of news coming really, really hard and fast. Um, causing you to take directions, but this, it's kind of like, which way are we going? And then you have the death card. And then there is, um, the Epstein situation. Berman was going forward with all these things. Um, the Cohen and the National Enquirer thing, that was getting a little more pushback because the National Enquirer is so powerful. So Epstein. Epstein case. the judgment card that's the loss card Whoa. two of wands card So this one's thrown me a little bit because it's, it's, you know, two wands, you have choices, but it's like you have the world in the palm of your hand. And certainly Epstein thought that he had the world in the palm of his hands and nobody could get him. Um, talk to me of what that two of wands means. It's a balance card. It's... It's making the right choices. Talk to me about the Two of Wands. With the Jeffrey Epstein case that Berman was working on. So they're all reversed. Uh, nine of Wands, certainly beat up. Two of Cups, it's a partnership. And the Lovers.
and they're all reversed. The lovers, it's not a real thing, is it? Two of Cups working things out. It's it's a one way street. It was it was Epstein trafficking those young girls. And there's Trump. Ugh, ugh, ugh. This energy is just so yucky, yucky, yucky. Um, any one of these, any one of these cases would be enough. Um, I like that uh, the judgment card came up so that possibly Mr. Trump can see that judgment in one form or another. Before I go, I just want to pull a couple of cards on Audrey. Is it Audrey or Aubrey? Audrey Strauss. Miss Strauss. Miss Strauss. How are you doing there? Miss Strauss. How are things? What's your work ethic, ethic like? What are you going to do with these? Okay. I think I'm losing a little bit of battery. Let's see if I can get this in before it goes away. Talk to me about Miss Strauss and her work ethic. Okay, I'm flying through this because I'm losing battery, so... like that card in the outcome. So she's dealing with a lot of shadow information. She will find the truth. She will get to it. Um, she has the lover's card at the base, so she's got a lot of people that um, she's working with on this. Do not mess with her. Queen of Swords. Do not mess with her. At the top of this reading, someone is going to be feeling very alone with all this truth. In this deck, the Five of Swords has the center guy totally dejected. Moving on. Oops. Uh, Illusion Delusion. Seven of Cups is in the near future. So, yeah, she's got to figure out all this craziness that's going to get thrown at her. Oh, no, look over here. No, look over here. Um, but she has the chariot, so she's going to move all this information, all this hidden information that's not being real clear, and she's going to be moving it forward to a successful conclusion that, will have people celebrating. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. Oh, guess who that is? King of Pentacles. It's going to have him up worrying all night. He's going to be trying to plan things out. But he's not going to be able to. And one more. Sun card. I think that's for us. So I think she's going to be doing an amazing job. I think she's got her work cut out for her. Um, this card, they may even just try to get her out of there sooner rather than later. But we shall see. All right, everybody. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for my new subscribers. Um, 
Got one from Missouri, Pennsylvania, Australia, Oklahoma, Puerto Rico, New York City, North Carolina. Woohoo! Thank you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. I said that was going to be short, 20 minutes. Okay. Anyway, have a great night and or morning or day and uh, see you tomorrow.